Hey everyone, this is Rob Jolliffe, and this is a Sabre Limited Expert Series video on what is ERP. All right, so we're going to talk about what is ERP today, or what is an ERP system. So let's uh, take a look at that. But to begin, my name is Rob Jolliffe. I am an expert in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central, which is an ERP system. And I'm also an expert in manufacturing and supply chain. So uh, just a couple little points about this video. I tend to speak to people in the manufacturing industry in what is usually referred to as mid-market, meaning that if they're interested in an ERP, they're not looking for something that's going to be $2 million and they're not looking for something that's $10,000. Uh, something that's in the $100,000-ish $100, price range is what they're usually looking at. Uh, so if that's where you think you are, this is probably a good video. If you like this video, you'd like to book a session with me just to talk about something that you've seen in here, please look in the um, in the, the details, the notes of the video for information about booking a calendar invite with me. Uh, I, have a, I have my calendar online. If you book with me, it makes it easier for me to schedule a conversation with you and I'll ask you for uh, what your questions might be and then I can set that time aside and answer any of your questions for you. Uh, if you'd like to talk about um, product we sell, Business Central, or just in general uh, comment on the YouTube video, I'd love to hear your feedback and have a chat with you. Now, why am I writing this or why am I creating this video? Uh, to be honest, I was trying to explain to my mom what ERP was and I realized this is a little bit complicated and uh, I thought I'd do this video and then she could understand it. And if she can understand it, then hopefully anybody can understand it. So no offense, mom. This video is what is an ERP system and a subtopic I'm going to say is specifically what is a mid-market ERP system because that's the ERP, the type of ERP system I am an expert in and I want to get into mid-market in particular. So ERP is short for Enterprise Resource Planning. Now in and of itself, that still doesn't mean anything. So let's get into what is Enterprise Resource Planning. In the very beginning of software products being created for businesses, and we're talking in the 1960s, late 1960s and early 1970s, there were basically two different types of software that were being developed. There were scheduling software packages and MRP would fall under scheduling software. And then there was accounting software. Accounting was is pretty obvious. Um, the MRP side is a little bit more complicated. So MRP in, is one example of a scheduling software type. Another example would be uh, airline scheduling, which was a very early type of software developed. But MRP is materials requirements planning. And it is basically software um, that reproduces the process of people manually trying to calculate how much material they would require either by producing it themselves or purchasing it in order to, uh, to satisfy their customer orders. So MRP was, was originally one of the two main types of software that people got. You could think of MRP as your inventory control and scheduling software. And a, a really early adopter of MRP that kind of made the system famous and, and caused other companies to go out and try and adopt it was Black & Decker. And it's a little bit too deep to get into in this uh, session, but Black & Decker was very successful in putting the software in to help improve their delivery performance and reduce their inventory and, and, and produce parts, more, more materials and products on time for customers than anybody else in the market. So by the 1980s, um, people began to realize there was a lot of inefficiency in having two different pieces of software because if you had um, if you had an accounting software package, then you were putting in your customer uh, information and creating invoices and putting in your vendor information and creating invoices and entering their invoices into this package. And when you had an MRP system, you were putting your customer information and entering their orders which would become invoices, and you're putting in vendor information entering your purchase orders, which would become vendor invoices. And people realize, well, this is a lot of duplicate entry. If we could combine it into one software package, that would be really good. And so they kept trying to come up with different names for this new combined software package. They called it MRP2. Um, they called it, I think there were a couple other names that were thrown around, but eventually they settled on ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, because it took all of the software generally that were being used in uh, businesses at that time for, um, for software to run the business and it merged it into one product for the enterprise. So Enterprise Resource Planning was born. Now, 
enterprise resource planning is segmented in by the complexity and size of the businesses that buy it. So if you go looking for ERP software, you'll find that it, it runs the gamut from um, software that would cost you tens of millions of dollars to buy and implement to software that could buy cost you hundred dollars a month. And there are uh, therefore there's three market segments that ERP is considered to be um, to fall within. The three segments are the top segment, which uh, or the top market, which is mostly controlled by SAP and Oracle. Although there's a couple of other players in there that uh, that do get involved at the lower end of the of the top market. You'll also find Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. You'll find IFS, and there's a few other products in that in that market. But SAP and Oracle are the dominant players. In the mid market, you have a, a larger group of players, although uh, in the cloud space, there aren't that many who are currently active. And the mid market is really a, what they consider a mid sized business. And I have it listed here as more than 5 million and less than a billion in, in sales, the top market being the billion dollar plus uh, businesses. And then the small market uh, or the bottom of the ERP market, the bottom market players, they are, uh, they're typically just very advanced accounting software, but they don't have nearly the sophistication of the mid market. And those are for quite small businesses. And typically that's that's Sage and QuickBooks Enterprise and products like Xero. Now, one thing to note, there are products out there that say that they can turn uh, the basic versions of QuickBooks or Sage into an ERP system by adding modules into them. They are not ERP systems. Those are MRP systems. Often they actually refer to themselves as an MRP. Be warned, when you add an MRP system to something like QuickBooks or Sage, you are not gaining the efficiencies of an ERP system. And typically that won't that won't carry you very far, especially if you're a manufacturing business. And I'll, I'll, I'll mention this a little bit later. So in, in the 2020s, if we advance from 1980s to today, a, a typical ERP system is going to be composed of many modules and features that are connected to one database. That's typically the definition of, of an ERP system is it, it's, a, it's a single database um, or possibly it's two databases with the same vendor and they integrate the two of them together and they therefore combine the functionality. So you'll find CRM functionality. Salesforce is probably the number one leader in CRM, but there are other products like Zoho and Microsoft Dynamics that are very popular. Uh, you'll get your MRP and inventory control, which we talked about. You'll get your, your financials and, and accounting, but you might get field service, um, uh, having trucks go out to customer locations and provide uh, warranty services or uh, think of like a plumber uh, or a, uh, um, an air conditioning company coming in repairing uh, your product at your home. Uh, you might have human resources, so you might have uh, software that tracks not just the payroll of your employees, but also their training and their vacation requests or um, their feedback for their employee reviews. So ERP system is just going to mix all of those together, one database, so it's all connected and there's much less duplicate entry because you're, you're using the same system. One of the things about ERP is they're significantly more complex as they move up the pyramid. So if you're starting at the very bottom, uh, most of those ERP systems, and, and I, I use the term ERP a little bit uh, generously with these, they're very basic uh, inventory control, very basic uh, human resources, uh, pretty good accounting typically. What you find at the bottom of the pyramid is the accounting is the best part because that's the common thing that all businesses need. And that's where they, they focus their attention. And then the less complicated forms of inventory control and scheduling that they might have in them, but they're, they're pretty basic. Then you move up and the ERP systems at the next layer up, they have a lot of the features, but not all of them. So you would rarely find an ERP system that's in the middle tier that has every one of the features that the top tier has. And the top tier SAP and Oracle, um, and a lot of those products up in there, Microsoft Dynamics, they have almost every feature that you could possibly imagine in an ERP system integrated into one database. The one thing I, I mentioned I was going to talk about manufacturing again. It's very important to understand that for manufacturing companies that are getting into that mid-size, so over $5 million in revenue, they are beginning to become at a competitive disadvantage to not have an ERP system. The reason is that 
Um, typically in manufacturing, the inventory control and planning is very complex. And you're starting to need to use spreadsheets to keep on top of things at about probably about $5 million in revenue, maybe a little before that or a little after. But once you start to run into that, your efficiencies begin to drop really dramatically. And compared to your competitors who have an ERP system, you're going to be at a big disadvantage. So that is one thing that we've noticed is the mid-market does tend to be um, the bottom layer of the mid-market tends to be very focused on manufacturing. There's a lot of mid-market manufacturing ERP systems. Now, one thing I would say is that it's extremely important to choose an ERP system that's either cloud-based or is actively moving to the cloud. So there's, there's demonstrable work to move the ERP system to the cloud because I, I would say that any ERP system today that isn't moving aggressively to cloud, it's a lot like an 80s ERP system that was running in a green screen app. So the, the reason I say that is that to, like these types of old apps are to Windows as Windows is to the cloud. So the cloud is bringing extra capabilities and functionality to an ERP, in, including things like being able to have employees use their, their mobile phone to take, for instance, pictures of in, in, incoming materials when they're received at the shop floor um, that have damage on them and report that to purchasing. So purchasing can ask for credit from the, the delivery vendor, the shipper, or from the, the vendor that shipped it to the, the company. So um, this kind of technology is not in the Windows-based apps. The Windows-based uh, companies, they really need to work hard to give that kind of capability, whereas cloud-based apps, it comes very easily. And so you'll find much, much more of that modern uh, capability in a cloud-based app. So here in summary, ERP system is short for enterprise resource planning. It is software that combines at its basics, uh, inventory control and planning, including often manufacturing planning and scheduling and accounting into one uh, common software that uses one database. There are three tiers of ERP. The mid tier is the one that I'm the most familiar with and it's, it's by far the largest tier of, of ERP system in manufacturing. That The higher you go in the tier, the more capable the software would become. It is not a low-end accounting software package like QuickBooks with a third-party add-on of MRP module. That's not an ERP system. And, and be very cautious, avoid any ERP that isn't actively progressing to the cloud. That is, um, that's not investing in its future and that's where the, the future is today. If you liked this video, please don't hesitate to subscribe and follow. Please smash that subscribe button as they say. And if you click the bell icon, um, that will uh, inform you of, of upcoming videos. If you like this video, please ensure that you like it. It helps our YouTube channel get more views and uh, keeps, us, uh, keeps us going. Um, if you'd like to contact us, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to us at www.saberlimited.com. You can also email, um, I will get the email if you email sales at saberlimited.com. And finally, you can find me on LinkedIn at in slash Rob Jolliffe. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out and connect and uh, we'd love to have your comments and I'd love to answer your questions. Don't forget to, uh, to make a calendar appointment with me if you're interested. Have a great day.